After six years of participation in the American Bloom Competition, our local Holland and Bloom initiative has become part of our community identity, a way of communicating quality of life issues and a facilitator for change. Holland is known for its beautiful downtown, picturesque parks, and famous tulip festival. But this year, something very special happened. Well, I picked one that was this big. I think it makes you feel proud, and it tastes better when you grow your own veggies. It was just a, a great idea that we had kind of planted in our minds by the judges when I read the report from last year. And we saw, yeah, we have a tulip field that we don't use uh, the rest of the year. So I think it's a great idea, uh, a second use for that tulip field. At Windmill Island Gardens, the tulip fields are no longer empty during the summer months. Thanks to an America in Bloom judge's suggestion, the city of Holland started a community garden. Hard to believe there were tulips here at one time, but it's good for the soil from what I understand. Turn it over and this has just been a fun, fun project. That ties in because it, it goes directly to the community and, and making the community a better place. It enhances membership in the community, if we can call it that, uh, where everybody has a stake in the community. Every Saturday, city staff holds classes, teaching residents how to garden. If we had a name for our garden, I think it'd be Family Bonds, because it brings us together. She's the one that asks for us to come like every couple days or something to, to water it and weed it. And she was here earlier with her dad. It's been an overwhelming success. There's a lot of folks living downtown who don't have enough space to garden or uh, just don't want to rip up their yard. People walk by and they just admire this. They think it's amazing. And we've shared a couple of veggies with them too. <laughs> so that's been fun. Planted Row for the Hungry was actually um, some of our gardeners' ideas. It's a way that our staff can have a plot and then that food that comes out of there, all the tomatoes and everything they grow, goes to a local organization. Many visitors to our city ask, what's your secret? Our answer is simple. It's a community effort of city staff, local organizations, and most importantly, volunteers. We don't have a problem with volunteerism in, the, in this community. There's, there's always a place, if you want to volunteer, there's a place for you somewhere in this community. Volunteers work throughout the community. A group of special needs volunteers help plant and maintain gardens at the Capon House Museum. Residents plant tulips and dig the bulbs in city parks. The Tulip Time Festival utilizes the time and talents of over 800 volunteers. Thank you to everybody who came out this morning. Through Holland and Bloom, we all join together to celebrate the pride planted in our community.